Good evening. Today I'm going to be reviewing. Come on, show it, show it, show it. There we go. Dragon Quest VI: Realms of Revelation. This is the first Dragon Quest game I've ever played. It was recommended to me to my friend Amy, who actually suggested I get Dragon Quest IX. I went to Future Shop, they didn't have it. I went to EB Games, they didn't have Dragon Quest IX. They did, however, have Dragon Quest VI, and I immediately picked it up. Brought it home, put it in my 3DS, and it's still in my 3DS to this date, and I probably bought it... Hmm, probably shortly after Christmas. Dragon Quest VI is your stereotypical Japanese RPG. You start off as the hero. You name your own name for the hero. There is no stock name. And you travel around the world helping people out and you find out very quickly that there is a monster named Murdaugh, and he is like the general of the monsters and attacking all humans, and it is your job to go and stop him. This, I thought, was the main part of the story. Turns out it's not. You defeat Murdaugh about a quarter of the way through the story, and then you move on. You find out that there's actually two worlds the real world, and the dream world. And you originate from the dream world. You travel back and forth between two worlds, helping people out, solving their problems, progressing the story. Right now, I'm at a spot and I'm kind of stuck on a boss. There is a princess in a mirror. She's stuck inside a mirror. And the king wants to rescue her, but doesn't know how. You find out that the princess was actually stuck there by an evil sorcerer who you have to go and defeat. I've gotten close to defeating this sorcerer, but I just can't quite make it. And it's really, really frustrating, but still really, really fun. If you are a Japanese RPG lover, I will highly recommend this game. It is fun, it's challenging without being frustrating. Well, it's frustrating at parts, but most good games are. I cannot recommend it enough. Here's the beauty of this game. It actually has... You meet a woman and she is a fortune teller. If you ever get lost in this game, don't go to a guide. Don't go to Game Facts. Go to this fortune teller. She will direct you where to go. She will direct you what town to go to and give you a general idea of what you need to do. For someone like me, this is great because I will be the first to admit I get lost in RPGs, especially RPGs with an open world. I don't know what city to go to, I don't know what dungeon to go to. I'm ashamed to admit that although I love RPGs, I use FAQs a lot and I use game guides a lot. The only RPG, few RPGs, that I've done that I didn't need a guide for is this game, and I'll show it to you again, and Chrono Trigger. Chrono Trigger, I will be reviewing later on, I will be reviewing it with Final Fantasy IV because it actually came bundled together. I bought, I think it was Final Fantasy Chronicles off the retro store I told you about in my Ocarina of Time review. 
once again, cannot stress this game enough. It's fun, it's addicting, it's challenging, frustrating at times, but most good games are. You can probably find it on eBay or Kijiji used. Let's see how much I paid for this game. I paid $19.99 for this game at EB Games. It's well worth $19.99. I'd pay well, I'd pay 35 bucks for this game. It's that good. However, it's relatively past sequel, Dragon Quest IX. I've played a bit of that, and so far, Dragon Quest IX. Let's just say I prefer six. Go out and find this game. If you have a DS or a 3DS, go out and buy this game. If you have a Super Nintendo, go out and buy this game. There's a little bit of difference between the Super Nintendo and the DS version. Obviously the DS version has upgraded graphics and names of people, names of spells, and names of locations have changed as well. I can't think of anything immediately off the top of my head. The general storyline is the same, the way you play the game is same. Is the same, but towns are named different, people are named different. It'll throw you off at first, because I remember seeing this game for the Super Nintendo years and years ago, and I have a pretty good memory, and I remember in this game minor discrepancies, things being different. It's not an it's enough to confuse someone like me at first. But you get used to it. Stay tuned for my next review, and all honesty I have no idea what I'll be reviewing next. Might be reviewing Resident Evil Revelations, a game that seems to have gotten Hate might be the strong word, but a lot of people are turned off by it. I don't know why. To me, it's a great Final Fantasy game. The storyline... It's Final Fantasy, so of course the story is going to be a little bit cheap. Not Final Fantasy. Resident Evil. It's Resident Evil, so of course the storyline is going to be relatively cheesy. The voice acting is campy, but it's a good Resident Evil game. One game I recently put back into my PS3 is Red Dead Redemption. I love Red Dead Redemption. It is... Imagine Grand Theft Auto 3, Grand Theft Auto 4, set in a spaghetti western. It's a fun game. I can't recommend it enough.